Hello from East China's Jiangxi. I'm Xinhua correspondent Chen Yushan. I'm here at the Tiangong Kai Wu Thematic Gallery in Xinyu, Jiangxi Province. 400 years ago, the ancient scientist Song Yingxing in the late Ming Dynasty wrote Tiangong Kai Wu right here. This masterpiece was first published in 1637 during the region of Imperial Chongzhen, and it offers a summary of ancient China's manufacturing and farming techniques. It has been recognized as an encyclopedia of science and technology from the 17th century. Xingyu is a city built on seer, with an industrial history that goes back over a thousand years. As early as the Tang Dynasty, iron smelting furnaces were already burning at Fenghuang Mountain here. And the complete process described in Tiangong Kai Wu, from iron ore to big iron, and then to steer, actually came from the real life experience of people in Fenyi and Yushui back then. Today, we are going to follow this thousand year old craft, starting from where the book was born, all the way to a modern steel maker, Xin Steel Group, to see how ancient wisdom has been turned into today's world leading ultra thin electrical steel. First, let's invite a guide here at the Smatic Gallery to help us connect with the history. What significance does the cultural heritage of Xinyu hold, given that it's the birthplace of Tiangong Kai Wu? Hello, Zijun. Hello, Nihao. Can you tell us about the history of Xinyu as the city of Tiangong Kai Wu? What does the history of the culture mean to you? Okay. Tiangong Kai Wu is the history of the history of Tiangong Kai Wu. It actually has a lot of things. For example, the soldiers used the soldiers to use the soldiers to use the soldiers to use the soldiers to use the soldiers. It is used to use the soldiers to use the soldiers to use the soldiers. 翻译作为《天工开物成书地》呢，这不仅仅意味着一份荣耀，更是作为城市激励的一份文化基因。嗯、呃，大家其实，在我们新语啊，或者翻译都能看到，路上呢有天工大道、开物大道。嗯、那么，其实除此之外，还有各种啊、呃，比如说舞剧，再到手游这种文化的多元化的文创产品。嗯、啊，这些其实对于啊、呃，我们将古人的天人合一的这种文化。基因展现到现代建设当中都有很重要的意义。嗯，谢谢。天工开物 records iron smelting technology of Ming Dynasty in details. Artisans kept sturdy molten iron with willow sticks, controlling the frying time to turn pig iron into wrought iron, and then into steel. This unique frying steer method shows just how smart the ancients were. During Song Yingxin's six trips to the capital to take the imperial examinations, or Kuju in Chinese, he made multiple visits to farmlands and workshops along the way, meticulously documenting his observations on agricultural techniques and craftsmanship. Known as the world's first comprehensive treatise on agriculture and handcraft production, the pioneering work has since been translated into multiple languages, including English, Japanese, French, German, and Russian, profoundly influencing the world's te technological process, such as the textile machinery, iron making technology, and so on. Chinese craftsmanship had a significant global impact over four centuries ago, catalyzing the technological revolution in handcraft industries across Asia and Europe. For us, being the place where this book was written is not only an honor, it's also a vital part of the city's essence, deeply ingrained in the urban fabric. Look around, Xinyu has Tiangong Avenue and Kaiwu Avenue. We have cultural projects running from dance drama to video games, and there are projects like the Memorial Gallery that bring the ancient idea of harmony between humans and nature into modern city life. It's shaped Xinyu's identity, where craftsmanship is always pursued to the finest. 
and it's also the deep cultural and spiritual source for modern companies like Xinxi. From the words in the book to the names to the streets, Tiangong Kaiwu is no longer just an ancient text, but a living spirit that drives the city forward. Now let's take the culture gene to its modern successor, Xinxi Group. We are now inside the Xin Steel History Exhibition Hall, and this hall is built right beside the platform of a working 2,500 cubic meter blast furnace. Uh, that in itself is a powerful symbol, history and the present, tradition and production. Come together here. Let's ask the director of this hall, Mrs. Zhu, to walk us through the history. 你好,Joash。欢迎你,欢迎你来到我们新钢历史陈列馆。谢谢,能不能简单给我们介绍一下咱们新钢的一个历史。好的,我们新钢呢,可以说这是来到了我们的记忆中书。在这个位置呢,我
，我们可以看，可以将这段这片硅钢理解为现代工业的丝绸。要达到这样的薄度、这样的磁性能和机械性能，靠的是全流程精密的控制。这正体现出天工开物中工艺立其器的思想。嗯。So you can think of this steel as the silk of modern industry, getting it the same while keeping the magnetic and the national properties just right. Take this precise control over the whole process. That's exactly what Tiangong Kai Wu meant: mastery through better tools. In our here, you can't see the silk of 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 the silk. 和物流系统，我们通过建设智能工厂，将许于善用的资源瓜用到了极致，比如利用大数据模型优化加热温度和时间，比老师傅的经验更精准、更节能。生产手持钢的产线本身就是一个融合了传感器、物联网和人工智能的现代天工开物现场。On the production line, you won't see the sweaty hammering described in old books. Instead, you will see fully automatic rolling mills, smart inspection robots, unmanned cranes, and logistic systems. By establishing a smart factory, we've evaluated the concept of using resource wisely to new heights. For example. They utilize big data models to optimize heating times and temperatures, achieving precision and energy efficiency that surpasses traditional methods based solely on veteran experience. The production line for this hand tier steer is essentially a leaf showcase of modern Tiangong Kai Wu, packed with sensors, IoT, and artificial intelligence. Today, we started at the Tiangong Kai Wu Cementic Gallery, walked through the history hall built on a blast furnace, and ended up at the Smart Center, where a world-class hand-tier steer is born. The story of Xin Yu and the Xin steer shows us the real inheritance means letting ancient wisdom live on. In every smart production line, in every row of outdoor sink steer, and in landscapes where industry and nature come together. Here in Xinyu at Xin Steel, Tiangong Kai Wu has grown from an ancient book into a cultural symbol, an innovative spirit, and a model for the future. We hope this journey through a thousand years of Xin Steel helps you feel the depths of China's industrial past. And the energy driving it forward. If you enjoy our show, please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. That's all for today. See you next time.